uh, up the river in Tewkesbury, the floodwaters have been falling overnight by about six inches. Few people now doubt the scientific evidence that points to the impact which modern life is having on the planet's climate. We are all being asked to reduce our carbon footprint, and as individuals, we're being challenged to find ways of reducing energy consumption in our homes. We have to bring about a sea change in public opinion all around the world. We've come a long way in the last 30 years. The average household now recycles more, drives a cleaner car, and offsets foreign flights. Many of us also use low energy light bulbs, but lighting accounts for a mere 6% of the energy used in our homes. These figures for an average home give a clue as to where the greatest gains might be made. They show that heating space and water account for almost three quarters of energy use. It's true that the efficiency of gas boilers has improved in the last 30 years, but as every gas user is aware, prices have risen sharply. The UK is desperate for more houses, and there are ambitious plans to build more than 200,000 new homes a year. They'll all need heating and hot water, and the average house produces over five tons of CO2 per year. So, there's a problem. We need more houses, but we need to reduce the impact housing makes on the environment. Well, what are the options? Look to the solar powers, yeah, it's just so expensive at the moment. Until they're developed, I don't think I want to sort of get involved, certainly with my own heating. You're not really going to get many people interested in that. I don't, don't know how efficient it would be or the cost savings. So. Yeah, but we live in an old house, so I don't think solar power is going to come into the equation. Consumers are being presented with a bewildering array of claim and counterclaim from companies offering renewable technology. But one technology, heat pumps, offers genuine and uncontested benefits and stands head and shoulders above the rest. Heat pumps to pump your house? I don't know anything about them. The technology still seems quite new. No, 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 I don't know anything about those. Well, I know about ground source heat pumps. I've heard of solar and that sort of thing. I've never heard of air source heat pumps. It's not a scientific test, but of the 25 people we spoke to, only one had even heard of heat pump technology and no one had heard of air source heat pumps. Yet everyone recognizes that something needs to be done about the carbon footprint of our homes. As well as concerns about uh, the rising cost of fuel, there's a growing number of people who are naturally concerned about what's happening with the environment. The government is trying to do its bit to reduce carbon emissions, and a number of households also recognize that they ought to be seen to be doing something as well. The country is no longer in a position of being a, a net exporter of fuel and is reliant now on getting uh, imports from some quite unreliable sources such as Russia and other parts of the world. Governments across the world are using a combination of incentives, taxes and regulation to encourage the heating industry to meet even more stringent targets. And in the UK, this is starting to have an effect. When we were looking to review what type of heating system we were going to use after uh, deciding to go with the renewable energy, we looked at ground source, solar and air source heat pumps and uh, air source heat pumps and the Ecodan system especially stood out because of the long-term maintenance issues. Solar's you need high level access to get to the, the equipment and the, and the ground source is obviously buried in the ground. Again, if there's a problem, it's very difficult to get to if, if you can get to it at all. We are going to have to change the way that we use energy and reduce the amount we consume. And this type of heat pump technology is one of those ways. We've seen in the past year energy costs rising to higher and higher levels and to be honest that's only going to go one way. But with the UK looking to build over 200,000 new homes a year, more effort is needed. It's a hot political topic. Now, these people in hospitals and schools who we desperately need as key workers need a house now. They can't wait till we get the doubling of the housing. That will take quite something to change around. But we're going For construction companies and developers, housing associations and anyone involved in solving the UK's housing shortage, heat pump technology is offering a clear solution. The systems in the past have, have perhaps been designed around the, the single customer occupier. The beauty about the EcoDan system is that it is a self-contained and similar package to a traditional installation for a gas boiler system. Uh, the planning system is definitely embracing renewable technologies and they are looking at schemes more favourably and will take on more of the design issues if they incorporate renewable energy systems. This type of system is outside specifically because it's recovering renewable heat from the air all around us and it's taking that heat, it's concentrating it and upgrading it and transferring that into your radiators or your hot water. A heat pump will typically reduce the costs of heating that water and space by over 30% and the environmental benefits are huge. It isn't science fiction, it's available right now and it works.
The technology literally extracts energy from the air we breathe. The concept of trying to heat something when the ambient air outside is minus 20 is probably one of the most difficult to grasp. And we need to go back to when we were all at school and we did our science and absolute zero being minus 273 degrees C. So as long as we're above that, there's energy available to extract. And with modern heat pump technology, which we've got in this type of product, we quite comfortably extract sufficient heat at minus 20 to heat these properties. And this type of technology applied in any modern house is going to give us a reduction of something like 20 to 30 percent in the total carbon footprint of that house and running cost savings of the order of 20 percent as well. They wouldn't notice any difference with this type of product compared to what they've traditionally got in their house now, i.e. when they turn their tap on, hot water will come out and when they want their house to be warm, it will be warm. Homeowners don't really need to worry about how an air source heat pump works. What is important is that householders get the comfort levels that they're looking for, the heating and hot water turns up reliably when it's needed, and also that their fuel bills are going to be lower than they have been before. The government has set down very aggressive targets for the UK as a whole to reduce energy consumption and therefore reduce the amount of carbon emitted by the country. This type of heat pump technology is one of the ways that will reduce the amount of energy consumption in both domestic and commercial applications. The central heating infrastructure with a heat pump is very similar to that you'd have with a gas boiler, so from an internal perspective the installation costs are virtually identical. The difference you have is that the heat pump as a heat source has a slightly higher capital cost for you to pay than a gas boiler. That cost will be quickly recouped by the savings in running costs in the following three to five years. In the last few decades, the introduction of new heating systems in the home has led to huge infrastructure changes. Remember when North Sea gas came in? Thousands of fitters toured the UK carrying out conversion work in home appliances so we could use our own cheaper gas. Now the country faces a new challenge. We need to find a cost-effective way of replacing older and efficient heating systems, but without such dramatic upheaval. Air source heat pumps are widely and successfully used throughout Europe, with approximately 250,000 having been installed in domestic application in 2006 alone. Unlike some of the alternative technologies being offered to market, EcoDan air source heat pumps are a practical and affordable option, and it is available right now.